Kia koutou. my name is James Savage and I'm the Research Coordinator at the Southern Institute of Technology, part of Tupukenga, the New Zealand Institute of Skills and Technology. Today I'm speaking on behalf of Tupukenga Publishing Group about our efforts to support and unify processes around publishing across our tertiary vocational network. For those of you unfamiliar with Tupukenga, it consists of a head office, 16 formerly independent institutes of technology and polytechnics spread across the country, and nine industry training organizations. It has around 9,000 staff, more than 90 delivery sites across the country, and um, serves around 270,000 learners. It was set up as part of the reform of vocational education a few years ago, uh, and since 2020, there's been a series of consultations on its operating model, design and structure. Um, and then towards the end of last year, the new government indicated that it would be disestablished. And we're currently going through the process of consultation on post disestablishment structuring. So across our national network, we have five divisions that have significant publishing initiatives. There's Unitech up in Auckland with five journals, various other things, and the original founding and host of the Research Bank repository used by other divisions as well. Manukau also in Auckland, which has a journal. Fitterea also with a journal and that runs the Graduate Diploma in Publishing, which is the only such course across New Zealand. Otago Polytechnic, which has many journals, also publishes books. Um, and SIT, where I'm based, um, which also has a journal um, and other things that it publishes, notably conference proceedings. Our challenge is how to manage the continuity of publishing processes um, through this unification and now deunification process, um, and also how to share best practice, make sure we're all aligned with each other. A solution was to create a booking a publishing group with representatives from all the divisions with significant publishing activity. This was proposed from the Publications and Dissemination Workstream of the Rangahau Research Forum, which is a forum for all the um, divisional research directors and Rangahau Māori representatives um, back in 2022. And from there, we decided on its functions um, to connect relevant staff from all those divisions, um, to monitor and support the existing publishing activity um, through the restructuring process, and now the um, restructuring into separate organisations process, and to share and advise on best practice across the network. And some things we were focusing on in that space were the registration and use of digital object identifiers um, for all the publications, um, unifying and improving the editorial and review processes for all the different journals, um, establishing some more firm open access policies and strategies, um, and running some seminars and other skills development opportunities on publishing um, across the network. We decided relatively early in the process that Diamond Open Access was the only strategy that made sense for our publishing system. Our journals mainly publish research that is applied, very locally focused, and our researchers typically do not have the funds to pay for article processing charges, and we want what is published to be readable by local communities of all different kinds. So we need there to be no fees for authors and no fees for readers. And Diamond Open Access in general has advantages compared to different other publishing models. I'm sure everyone listening to this is aware of that. Um, little diagram on the right here, um, free to read, free to publish, peer reviewed, and authors retain copyright. And we want all those things to be true for our system. Um, and other research has shown that most Diamond Open Access journals publish less than 25 articles a year, run on less than one FTE staffing, and other things that align with how we run our journals. So where are we as of late July 2024? Well, the publishing group is meeting with representatives of the different divisions every two months. We have a strong commitment to open access across divisions, but no central policy because of disestablishment. And we've managed to move all the remaining traditionally published journals over to Diamond Open Access by the end of 2023. We have unified DOI registrations with all journals now having DOIs for all articles. We've started offering seminars on publishing and we hope to offer more this year. And we're focusing on stability through and beyond disestablishment. 